the uh, other load of fertiliser just arrived on the Kettle Wells wagon again. Uh, I'm just moving the mail out of the way. Move some tractors, get him back in the shed, get him tipped off, and then he can get back on his way again. Uh, I think they've got about 30 wagons. Kettle Wells, you often see them up and down the motorway from North Yorkshire. Well, that's Andy. We managed to tuck two tractors into the side there, and then the third one by the beach, so they can just back straight down now and get it in here. We have to put the tractors with the GPS in a shed that's locked on alarm because of um, there's been a lot of GPS theft in the country recently. Not not really too close to here, but sort of 35 minutes away, a lot of people have their stuff stolen out of the tractors. It's just a joke, but I don't know why we don't have car alarms on them. I mean, I'm probably going to have a look on the internet if you can find them, because years ago you used to be able to get a car alarm from Halfords, fit it in about 20 minutes. And then you go click, click, and then, you know, alarm it. Well, that's what we need for these really, isn't it? Especially when the GPS screens are worth thousands. Watch the roof. <laughs> That's a triple super phosphate fertilizer. I love the smell of it. Not good, all the water's come off the sheet now and landed on the front of the heap. So it'll probably go all horrible. Have to rake that off and block the spreader. It's it's currently raining outside. We've had about a mil yesterday and three mil overnight, so that's four mil, but we've had 40 mil in the last um seven days but it's supposed to be the last day of rain and then hopefully it's going to dry up got lots of spring work to do i remember this time last year we worked some ground up on a friday and it was wet and we couldn't do anything with it but by the monday it baked solid and then it didn't rain again till june so hopefully we'll have a repeat hopefully we'll have the dry spell but we won't have the drought and then um, we'll have some yield this year so um another day of finding things to do in the workshop we've got a steel beam to make for the uh for the new farm so that we can put the um the brickwork back to it so it looks nice from the outside so i've got to put a steel in and weld a plate to it and um i've got a red track to meet between half ten and half two which is going to be like probably quite boring because it's horrible sat in front of a screen for that long but um i'll just have to grin and bear it and see if we can get some feedback about uh, the agricultural sector to the people on the board that white smoke out of that that's unburned your ear apparently it doesn't happen on the modern engines does anyone want to own up to what happened to that pedestal? Because uh, it's like it's snapped. Dig it out now when we load this other wagon. You have to dig it out, won't you, when you load that? Got one of Ed Wheatman's wagons here now. Smart one, all vinyl wrapped. Load of sugar beet. Get sugarman. Looks like someone spilled some sugar beet yesterday. Some patches all over the yard. Quite big as well. It's all leaves blown into this, which we don't want because it'll block the spreader. So we're going to push it back and then put uh, one of them nets across the front to stop it blowing in because we're not going to be spreading that for a few days with this rain. Sugar beet on the way is now leaving. Quick bucket change, low be wood chip. Just loaded this wagon with wood chip and um, he's not got a way loader, so I'm loading him. Thinking, why is he, but he didn't tell me he didn't have a way loader. So I'm loading him up, thinking, why has he not told me to stop? It looks quite full. So it turns out he's not got a way loader. He pulled on the way bridge and he's four ton overweight. So he's gonna have to back up now and spit a bit out the back of his wagon. Rich has obviously got the chipper going now. No oil leaks so far, so that's good. Yeah, quite a bit of chipping up today. I'm just backed into that bale of straw. Whoa! That'll do! He's just going to walk it out now. Watch, see it. See if we can see underneath the floor working. a bit out the back now he's walked it back forwards but i think he left it running a bit too long because you don't watch you can push the bulkhead out the trailer if you keep walking it too much shut the doors now and off he goes hopefully 
my dad saved some tabletops from the chipper. I think chunks of wood. It's uh, dinner time, so I've been let out of my meeting for half an hour to see what's going on around the yard. We've been on a red track, so we've eaten out since half ten. My back's killing, just sat there still. I hate that. Lots of people are saying, why is it I want a Bateman and I'm not looking at other brands? Well, I'll tell you why. So this part, it's quite substantial. Bit of work gone into making it. I've had a bill this morning for it. £36. That's why I have a Bateman, because they don't make any money at all on the parts. There's no stupid markup. They literally make the parts just to keep the machines running and they still refer to them as their machines despite you owning them you know that that's the company that's the whole ethos they just make them right and want to keep them right and want to keep them all moving i mean i don't know how you do that i mean the engineering that's gone into it you know it's even got hexagon heads there on either side to stop the bolts turning if you'd have if you'd have bought that from a european manufacturer you know like the wood chipper for instance that'd be 400 quid you know, it, 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 I don't, I can't explain it, but but Bateman, they just know what they're doing, and they just keep it right. And you ring them up, they answer the phone, and whoever you picks up the phone knows exactly what you're talking about, can sort problems out. That's why I want another Bateman, and it's British as well. I've uh, been let out of a meeting now, so just loading some pellets onto a wagon, some sugar beet pellets going out. Quite a few going out this week, but they're obviously because cheaper. Um, lambing and different things and it predominantly gets put into sheep food. It's now sunny which is good so um, hopefully we can get some field work done towards the end of the week maybe if um, the rain holds off. It's my weather forecast has said it's going to be rain dry for the next two weeks although my dad says it's going to rain on Wednesday so we'll have to see what happens. But, uh, I'll just load this wagon quick and get him out the yard. See what the lads are up to in the workshop. They've been making the top for the door of the new shed that we're doing. Right, uh, yesterday's quiz question was in fact the dipstick out the engine. It is a C15 Caterpillar engine in the chipper and it um, is around 600 horsepower. Now, that thing is £400,000 new, second hand, five years old, six years old. It was 135,000, and I've still got another four years to pay 1,700 pounds a month for it. And someone who will remain nameless has basically buried it by pushing the branches up in the pile. Buried the radiator grill at the front and all the emergency stops on it and piled it up against the panels. Why? I just don't get it. Andrew and Richard have just made these this beam now so that's getting bolted across the top of where the doorway is going to be there's a plate welded on it now for the face brick and then that's for the back door where the uh, the fire escape that's going to have a um, brickwork on it as well so they've made them to measure so it fits exactly in so you just got to mag drill it when they get there and bolt it in but we're short of bolts so we're going to pinch them out another bit of the building and then get some new ones and, and bolt it in like that slight technical hitch with this i think it's jammed with one chip up there for some reason I think somebody, um, probably the same person that buried the chipper, has had the auger running without the bottom one running. And it's compressed it all, so it won't fall down. So I've got some draining rods now for now. Open it down. Poke it out with the rods. Put that light in there, you can see up at the top there, it's compacted on the bulkhead and won't fall down. It's jammed up, so I can either turn the auger backwards or poke it out. With it being a three phase motor, the only way to turn it backwards is swapping the terminals round. Which means getting a ladder and going up there, or I'll just try and poke it from below for a bit. Yeah, the chip, the chip travels up this auger and then drops down here, but there's a bit of a ledge and they must have a branch or something stuck down that bend and it's just not dropping down. So I'm gonna have to unbolt this plate. It's quite heavy. And uh, so I'm on a ladder, don't like really like ladders. We can't get the cherry picker in here, or the cherry picker. So I'll undo these, go around the other side, and then try and slide it off. So I'll poke all that out of there now, that should work. There we go, all clear now. There's just a bit of a uh, wire wrap around the top. Boiler sorted now, this was the problem, a bit of fake greenery that wrapped around the top of the auger so it was grabbing all the chip 
and it wasn't dropping so then it was causing a blockage and it was compacting itself so I uh, put it out now but yeah a bit of fake greenery fly tippers are getting cheekier putting the locks in fact they've actually wrecked the gate haven't they it's not just a lock they've cut off if anyone recognises that rubbish get in touch just on my way to the other farm and someone's tipped some rubbish in here Chris and Danny's field gate and they've actually cut the lock off to do it like you've just seen they're just getting even cheeky these fly tippers barn update steel's in brickwork's pretty much finished door's in the back there another steel will go on top of there get that block work finished and then put a footing in here well find the old footing really come up off it with the um, the brickwork I think the old footing's a bit knackered so we'll probably put a new one in to be honest and then that'll tie into these and then it should match that then that's the plan This is today's quiz question. Do you know what them two pegs are for? That one and that one there on a John Deere. At the top of the steps under that little flap. If you think you know, um, have a guess. And if you do know, put it in the box. Oh, look at that sunset. Cracking. Right, that's about all for today anyway. Uh, stuck in a meeting, so not been very interested, I don't think, today. We're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Probably hit it tomorrow. We don't get a plaque at 10,000, we get a plaque at 100,000 because a few people are going, oh, do you get a plaque when you get to 10,000? No, it's 100,000. So I don't know when that'd be. I mean, take a guess. Um, but everyone that's watching, if you subscribe, or in fact, if everyone that's watching tells one or two people, then it'll go from 10,000 to 20,000 really quickly. And then if they do the same then, then we'll, we'll be getting near 100,000, we'll have a plaque on the wall. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.